Let's talk about going under the knife to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Harston here. Everyone ought to have a great bread knife. Great knife for cutting bread fresh out of the oven. Today, our idiom, our expression is under the knife. Do we need to go under the knife to supersize and grow our business? Do we need to cut or surgically remove certain things from our business in order, order to help it grow and supersize? The city and this expression has been around since the 1800s. 1880, actually, is the first time it was recorded. And it deals with surgery, people having surgery, literally cutting things out or having some kind of an operation. Sometimes our operations <clears throat> involve a little cut. Sometimes they involve a big wound. Sometimes they involve amputation. It depends on what the nature of the physical crisis is. We're focusing on physical well-being, physical health for this year's Get Your Goals annual challenge this month. And it, the timing is kind of uh, not coincidental, but amazingly uh, right on topic because I am actually just found out yesterday afternoon that I am going under the knife on Monday morning bright and early to get my internal cardiac device replaced. It's been 13 years, which is awesome because it was only supposed to last nine. So that means I'm doing something right. And we need to do the same thing with our businesses, right? When things happen to us physically, it's to get our attention. Usually we're not paying attention to something in some area or aspect of our life. You may or may not believe that, but it's very true. It's also true of our businesses. When something is bad or we're not getting the results we want in our business, it's because we're missing something or not paying attention to something or not doing something that we could or should and need to be doing. And then we have to make choices and decide, <clears throat> are there parts of our business that we need to cut out? So often it feels like businesses, the first thing they look at is, <clears throat> excuse me, getting rid of people or overhead or uh, uh, substituting the quality of materials. And we talked about that a little bit yesterday, the importance of the inputs, what we put into our bodies and ourselves and our businesses is what we get out of them. The same is true of our businesses. We need to have quality inputs in order to get good quality, valuable outputs that people are going to buy and pay us for and do business with us for. Uh, but there's different questions we need to ask ourselves as the leader of our business that we're growing and supersizing uh, when we find ourselves struggling and in challenging times. Uh, are there ways to cut out things that aren't going to harm us in the long term? Are there ways to, uh, are, well, number one, are we following a reasonable business model? Are we doing what we need to do to, in order to be successful? I don't know about you, but I've had businesses where I actually had been applying a, an outdated or a wrong business model, a model that other people were doing and I thought I could do better and be more competitive. But really the business model was, uh, I guess, on a downward spiral. And so we needed to think outside the box. We needed to think more creatively of how we were gonna serve people, not just do the same old thing that everybody else has been doing for, for decades. Uh, so am I using a good reasonable framework or business model to grow and build and supersize my business? And the truth is there's only maybe a handful or two of actual strategies that help us grow and build and supersize a business. You can complicate them, you can dress them up, you can call them all kinds of different things, but it really boils down to only a couple of things. Uh, what can we do up front in order to deal with expenses that we might incur from things like layoffs, uh, furloughs, or other things? What are the long-term implications of taking and doing steps like that as we're trying to cut things out of our business. Are there, the, the first thing that I ever do when I have a business that's struggling is I freeze and stop unnecessary expenditures. And guess what? Almost all of our businesses have a lot of them, a lot more than we're consciously aware of. So if we look at our expenses, if we look, if we're looking at our numbers and things all along, these things shouldn't be a surprise, but the same is true of our health. Usually we're chugging along and we think everything's fine and hunky dory until something happens. We have an accident, we break a leg, we have to have a surgery and go under the knife uh, because we aren't paying attention to things that we should have been paying attention to. I am the first to admit that the reason I had a sudden cardiac arrest in the first place is because I wasn't taking care of my physical body. I wasn't taking care of my emotional, spiritual body. I was just focusing on running through my life and not paying attention to my life. And that was God, the universe, the world's way of getting my attention. And it happens to us in our physical lives as well as in our businesses. Usually if something happens that isn't getting us the results we want, it's because we're missing something or not paying attention. So pay attention, do audits. 
look at numbers, look at your metrics and be aware so that you're not surprised to slash and cut out things because things outside of your control happen and surprise you. I think of all the, uh, I know 3M is laying off thousands of people. Disney's laying off thousands of people. And these things ebb and flow, but we don't want to ever get caught in one of those situations where we feel like we have to choose become, you know, between really bad alternatives, right? All right, that is our idiom today, under the knife. Curious, have you ever been under the knife? I've definitely have been under the knife. I've had surgery on my eyes, surgery on my kidneys. Uh, can't have a tube side, too much information, but <laughs> things like that. So we never know when we might need to surgically remove things from our business, right? So curious about your experience with this. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.